Hello, my name is Arch Brooks and I would like to welcome you to the Brooks Computing Systems Rave Report Tutorial. In this example we will build a report that is available for our skeleton program and as you can see here's where our particular source code resides. Our Brooks Computing Systems Delphi XE source code generator provides us with a data module and we'll double click it to make it active and then we will look at the form view to reveal the RAVE project. Simply right click to get the RAVE visual designer menu item and then left click on that particular item. To initiate the report generation uh, move the mouse over the view item and click. In this example we want a database connection and we want it to support ADO and at this point we'll need to provide a connection string and we do so by using a data source name test our connection we can see that that connection succeeded and we'll click OK there and then OK once again. At this point we do have a database created. Now to connect a view to that database we want the driver data view next. We'll select that particular database and it wants us to provide it with a table and we will do so and we want to provide uh, the surname uh, phone number and the email address in this particular report and we will also notice that we have those uh, particular data items available to us now what we want to do <coughs> is use our report wizard for a simple table and we'll tell it we want to use that data view one that we just created and we'll click the all control and then next and that looks like a reasonable logical order so we'll proceed we don't particularly want to print the report title so we'll click next again and finally generate report and voila there is our report at this point we want to perform some housekeeping uh, we will get rid of that particular report. Yes, we want to, re to delete it. And then we'll come over here to report two and we'll make that report one. And let's do a save. And we'll follow that with the run option. Notice you have uh, your option outputs. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And we can see that it has roughly generated the report that we requested. We have the basis for our report and we'll go through and we'll change uh, some of the appearances to make the report more statically correct and we'll do an interim run to see if that did a fix up for us. Yes and it looks like it uh, did a better job of formatting that information. Now we would like to do a fix up on our labels. Modify that and we'll change this particular label to name. We'll change this one to phone and we'll change this one to to email address and you can't save too often in the, these uh, rave report projects so we'll do a save and basically we'll do a run 
just to do a quick check and that's looking like a much better report we want to further enhance our report to add some headings subheadings things like date time and a page number tool uh, initially we will drag a text element onto our form and we'll set our information to read this and then we want to center that text. The default of course is left justified. We want to center it and we want to change the font. It starts out at a default of Arial 10. Let's uh, send that to 16. See how it looks. Okay. Now what we want to do is give us some more room at the head of the report. You simply click on the report band area and then move that thumbnail in uh, the positive direction. We'll just eyeball this report. We have one, two, three, four, five squares to the right one, two, three, four, five, six squares to the left. So we'll just uh, one, two, three, four, followed by one, two, three, four. So let's expand this one to there. And let's do a save. And again, a quick run. And we can see that our heading is coming up on the report just fine, which is what we intended for it to do. Our next task would to be to put a report date on our report. So we'll drag another text fill onto our canvas. And in this particular item, we will insert a report variable. And let's do a short date. And we click on the insert report bar. And that will place that in our report for us. And we also want to put a time on our canvas. And again, we go back to report variables. And we will we'll select the short time. Click on the insert report bear. And then click OK. And at this point, you want to do a save and a run to see if that's giving us results that we anticipated. And it looks like that it does. The next item we want to add is a page counter. So we'll go back and we'll drag another date item to our canvas and we'll set its position and we'll give it a little more surface area to work with. This will be a complex element and when I say complex I mean we're going to use text And then we will also use report variables. And that would be for the current page. And we insert that. Let's go back here and put a plus sign. Plus the current page. Plus some more text. Space. The word of. And another report variable. This time we want total pages. And we insert that report variable and click on the OK. Now, what we want in this particular one is for that information to be right justified. And so we'll do a save and run our report to take a look at our results. And everything looks as 
we anticipated it. Now we would like to place a report subheading on our report. So we'll drag another data element onto our canvas. And I would make it uh, the same size as our heading. And also tell it to center this particular text. And we will establish its value. We will call this Alpha Roster for Members. And we'll move that up to make it a little bit more snug with our main heading. Let's perform a save and also run the report. Ah, not too shabby. At this point we're done with our basic design and we'll click out of the report designer, return to our application and perform a run. And once the application comes active, we'll go to reports and we'll click on the first report option and you can see we have our output options dialog and here is the finished report and you will notice it is connected to our application hello again my name is Arch Brooks and this concludes our Brooks Computing Systems RAVE report tutorial for the Delphi XE source code generator. Thanks for viewing.